is my first time in South Africa. I am out of my comfort zone. Oh, the giraffe. They're freaking huge. Now it feels like I'm in Africa. On the windswept plains of Vembe, South Africa, four unproven survivalists will attempt a 21-day challenge. It's going to be a, a challenge to survive out here. Divided into two groups, one team of men and one team of women. We're going to be the bush babes. They will test their strength against Mother Nature for the first 10 days and then merge on day 11 for an all-out survival of the sexes. Being partnered with a woman makes me nervous, but at the same time, women are stronger in the mind and that's what's needed out here. It's time to show the rest of the world what we're made of. Do you have an animal out here that you're most afraid of? Out here? Leopards. Okay, yeah, that's a good fear. Cheney and Rebel will be trekking three and a half miles south to an equally threatening environment where seven ton elephants come to drink and rocky outcroppings become the hunting ground for leopards. So why'd you want to do this? The challenge, because uh, I was in the Air Force for eight years. For what I've been doing as a career, like I've been teaching people this stuff. Yeah, I've practiced it, but never anything like this. Yeah. Oh, ow, damn. I want to prove girls are tough. We're just as strong as men. So deep down, I'm secretly hoping that the women outperform the men, just because women are tough and the world needs to see that. But what about you? I'm curious to know why you're here. My husband was in the army. Okay. He did a year in Afghanistan. When he came home, he was pretty messed up. It's probably gonna be the closest chance to. Seeing what he went through? Yeah. No, oh, that's a very good reason. Yeah. That's water. Oh, man. Oh, we're such good navigators. <laughs> wow. That's a nice water source. Yeah, yeah man, I'm digging it. Obviously, we don't want to be at too the water close. Source, yeah. Yep. Especially at night, Can it's just going to be colder. Everything mm -hmm. tramples through here. Yep. I'm hoping to not come face to face with anything that eats meat out here. Because by the time I see them, it's too late. See those rocks? Yeah. That's where I would like to go. To look for a place to do a shelter. Yeah. Oh, it would be nice to be a little higher that way we don't have to worry about getting trampled in the middle of the night. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Leopards can't jump on us here. Yeah. <laughs> I think this will work. Yeah. This is perfect. We can just like bird nest ourselves in here. How windy it is, it's gonna be hard to get a fire going. Oh, we'll get her going. We just need the coal. Flame. Yeah, flames. Yes. It's gonna be warm in here tonight. So we'll get this boiling, and then we need to start finding. Yeah, we need to start for the boma. So we are building our shelter here because it's a natural rock formation with great overhead cover. Having a good boma is a matter of life or death. Big, thorny, massive wall to keep out every sort of predator imaginable. Now that is a fire. We won't be cold, that's for sure. For tonight, the plan is to stay out of the way of anything that might be lurking around. You know, keep the fire going, keep warm, and hopefully we'll be able to get some sleep. My oh God, it is so warm in here. I wonder how the boys are doing right now. It's dark outside in our little cave. It's okay, because we have fire. Man, I am incredibly happy. <laughs> this is the Taj Mahal of Bulbas. Yeah. I slept surprisingly well. Yeah, I slept really good, actually. Pretty All good. things considered. I really want to get down to this pond, because it is our best chance for getting something of sustenance. I brought my glasses so I can see so much better with these on, so I'll be able to see, like, super, like, eagle eyes. Right. Yeah, look, these tracks, how fresh they are. Yeah, I didn't see those yesterday. One thing we gotta look out for is when we go to the water source, you know, we always want to watch out for some of the larger animals. I know there's leopards around here, I know there's lions around here, 
I know there's elephants around here. So literally everything is gonna have to use this one water source. And that means it's dangerous. So it's probably another, if I had to guess, 80 yards. Yeah. So start like really paying attention. There's a couple baboons and a couple deer. Oh, oh, there it is. No Seeing all these animals, I mean, it is really cool, but that's not my first thought. My first thought is, oh, because they're big and they're dangerous. If we get a stampede going or anybody coming at us that we don't expect, go right there. Get on that log. Ooh, hello. Oh, what did we find? It's a gecko. Come on, you little bastard. Sweet. Ha ha. <laughs> Bait. There are fish in there. They're jumping. They're getting something off the surface. So my plan is to get a line out with a hook with the lizard head on it and kind of just stand there and wait and see if anything comes by to bite it. I don't know what's in here, but I'm gonna get these hooks set up. Ow! Oof. Oh. Damn. I got the hook in my finger. It's in there pretty good. I was trying to tighten my knot and the thing slipped. It's in there pretty deep too. That barb is just catching on all my thumb meat. So stupid. So gross. I just feel like I'm gonna be sick. I can't get it out. nerve-wracking that this happened on day two. It's just the barb, I can't pull it out. Okay. So we're gonna need to cut the hook. And fish and it out. Damn. Jeannie managed to embed a, a barbed fishing hook really deeply into her thumb. Oh, man. So we're gonna cut it, and then we're going to pull the whole hook through your finger, you understand? Oh, I understand, yeah. It's in there deep, yeah. The only option that I had was to cut the fishing hook itself and feed the entire hook through the rest of her thumb. Ow! <laughs> Please, God, get this thing out of my thumb. That's coming. OK, big one, huh? Ooh. So deep breath. Let's get a proper grip, and then we just do it one time, OK? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh, ooh! Yeah! Success! Okay, I'm not gonna cover it because it's gonna be better Let the air get out. open because it's gonna swell. Okay. Try and keep it, it as clean as you possibly can. Any injury, there's always an associated danger of infection, but being in this environment, it is multiplied. Thanks, Doc. Good luck. Oh, well, thank you. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to keep this thing as clean as possible, at least for like a day or two to heal. Take it easy the rest of the day. I'm gonna be much more careful out here. I'm just not used to being in an environment that is just so dangerous. All right, day three. Rebel and I had gathered some of the Mopani leaves because if you lay them out in the sun and then you boil them in a pot of water, you can eat them. We just needed to put something in our stomachs because it's been about three days and we haven't had anything but water. And uh, I could feel it this morning starting to catch up to me. It's better than nothing. All right, let's go. <sighs> I'm getting hungry though, I can feel it. Yeah, for sure, I felt it this morning. Ow. Oh, that's a terrapin. Look what I caught. Oh, no Yeah I cannot believe it. No, I saw a shell and he wasn't really moving, so I was like, yeah. let me just reach down there and grab him. Oh, he stinks. Finding the terrapin is not something I'd ever think of as food, but you know, when you're out here, you just gotta do it. I just wanna kill him the fastest way possible. 
God, he's strong. I'm trying to pry this terrapin's shell open, and the more I pry, the tighter it squeezes, and I mean, this thing has got a grip. The serrated hinge terrapin gets its name from a hinged shell that makes it difficult to pry open. I can't get his head out. Yeah, the best way would be to chop off his head or to stab him in the head. The only way to kill this thing is to do it incredibly brutally, and I don't want to do that. I think we should leave him alone. I might be in luck today, dude. Let's gonna find a better way to kill him. Yeah. Even in a survival situation like this, I was more than willing to pass it up because it doesn't deserve it, and I wouldn't feel right eating it afterwards. 